Hey what's up you guys, welcome back to my channel if you're new here, hi hello I'm Lydia and if you are new here make sure you hit the subscribe button, join the growing family, turn notifications on and while you're down there give me a thumbs up because it really does help me out. Today I'm going to be sharing some tips and tricks if you live with pots. So the number one thing you can do to help yourself if you are pot is drink at least a hundred ounces of water or lower sugar electrolyte drink per day. Number two, increase sodium. Add salt to your food, take salt tablets or electrolyte powders to increase blood volume. Start with seated exercises. An example of this would be rowing and gradually increase intensity. You can also try walking, swimming. The next tip is avoid triggers. Try to avoid things that make your symptoms worse, like heat, prolonged sitting, certain drugs. Another tip is wear compression garments. Now I don't do this because I don't like socks, so I don't wear compression garments, but I do have pop. Wearing compression garments Wearing compression garments means you can avoid having your blood pooling in your legs. Another tip is wear another tip is to maintain a constant temperature. Extreme temperatures, especially heat, can make symptoms a lot worse. Now I'm gonna put this one to the test next year because I'm going to Australia. Albeit I'm going in the winter, I'm travelling to North Queensland, so I'm gonna melt. The next tip is avoid alcohol. Alcohol can make symptoms worse because it dehydrates you. Which is why if you've ever gone to A&E for alcohol poisoning they've just flushed you with fluids because you need to rehydrate you. Alcohol is very dehydrating. Another tip is to raise the head of your bed so it's slightly higher. I have a pillow, it's not a very thick pillow but it raises my head enough so I'm not flat. It's advisable to avoid lying completely flat because it can cause pooling of blood. List of your medications on you. Include the dosages, the times a day you take it, as well as any food or drug allergies. And the last tip I've got is have an emergency contact. Include a contact name, a phone number, as well as your doctor's information. Now that's something I don't do. And I'm going to explain. So my family live in the West Midlands. Ish. Technically Shropshire, but no one knows what that is. So West Midlands. And my boyfriend lives in Bristol. So realistically, there's no one that they can call that can come and be with me. So yeah, I don't have an emergency contact. There is no way to prevent POTS. But you can take steps to prevent flare-ups. That's all I've got for this video. If you're new, subscribe, join the growing family. Turn notifications on and give me a thumbs up. And if you didn't know I have a Patreon, Patreon. And it would mean the world to me if you could come and support me on there. If you want to make a one-time donation to the channel, my PayPal is linked in the description down below. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in my next video. Peace.